This theme is focused on the digital gender gap in technology. In the U.S., in the U.S., for example, where women make up 57 percent of the workforce, but only 20 percent of tech jobs, and more than half of the women in tech leave their field before they're 35 years old. Why is that? Well, we're going to find out. We welcome Elena Percival, co-founder and CEO of the nonprofit Women Who Code. She's here to talk about this issue. So good morning to you, and thanks for being with us. Good morning and happy International Women's Day. Yes, yes. happy International Women's Day. So, t so tell us about the mission of your organization, Women Who Code. Yeah, our mission is to empower diverse women to excel <laughs> in technology careers because we firmly believe that the fastest way to create greater equality among women and girls in the tech industry is by supporting the incredible talent in the industry today. Yeah, I mean, it's a great mission, right? But let's talk about women in tech in particular, right? And, and, and why you believe that women should have such a significant role in technology in particular. Yeah, so right now every industry is becoming a technology industry. And what that means is the leaders of companies are going to be running technology organizations. So where we've traditionally seen people coming through that traditional business or law, um, accounting background to make it to leadership roles, you're going to have to have as much of an understanding of data security as you have to have financial security, which means future leaders are going to have technical experience, technical backgrounds, run technical organizations. And so it's more important now than ever um, if we want to create greater equality at um, every level in inside of organizations for women to be representative uh, and thriving in technology careers. So are there any tech companies or, or job roles where women are uh, have a really strong presence? Yeah, women are underrepresented uh, across the board in, in uh, the tech industry and in technology roles. Um, but if you look at the best jobs, if you look at any list of the, the best jobs to be pursuing, um, probably six of the top 10 are going to be in the technology field. There's so much opportunity there. And right now the market needs um, more than a million uh, technologists than what the market currently has. And so even in these uh, moments where you see weakening markets, um, it's a career that has a tremendous amount of opportunity. So we need more people in general, and it's a fantastic career path. Um, when there's diversity on the team, you have yeah. greater creativity. When there's uh, diversity in leadership, you see a, a stronger ROI. So it, the industry is just going to be much better, much stronger um, as more women are entering it and excelling in it. Can you be a little specific in terms of what exactly, when you say technology, you know, what are exactly a, a, is an example of a kind of job that you may be talking about that needs to be filled? Yeah, so um, software engineering roles, when you think about mobile development, when you think about um, data, um, any of these types of roles are uh, important and growing roles mm. right now um, across every single industry, whether you're media or finance, healthcare, shipping, uh, agriculture, across all industries, we're seeing a, a digital transformation take place. Like you said, no matter what industry you're involved in, tech is involved. So because there's so many jobs, what, what's driving so many women out of this industry then, the tech industry, so early in the careers, as we mentioned earlier in our intro here? Yeah, so what we see is it's largely um, encountering bias. And so, you know, when you're the only or the one of two mm. on a team of 30 and you get on a hard project or um, you aren't connecting with your boss or really um, the small things that happen every single day where if you complained about a single one of them, you'd be the weird person who complains. Um, it makes it um, it makes it tough to overcome those bigger moments. And so when you get passed over for a position because someone says, oh, this person really demonstrates leadership skills or I can see them being a leader whereas um, women are really forced to have already um, demonstrated the the roles um, whereas men often are ba are promoted based on their potential it, um, it creates a cycle of um, of you know women stepping out of their careers mm -hmm. in technology right when they should be mm -hmm. um, sort of poised to be moving forward and yeah. stepping into leadership roles. Yeah, you know, and I guess, you know, when you think of technology, like so many businesses might, might think that it's male dominated, right? So do you think that women 
are treated differently when it comes to tech than any other business? Um, I think I think it's um, uh, a challenge in that women are currently very underrepresented. Yeah. So my, my broad message is tech is an amazing place for women to be. There's flexibility, there's career opportunity, there's high pay. Um, you have the ability to be solving big problems and creating innovation that will be in the products that you love and use in the future. And so it's only going to be much, much better as more women stay in it and excel in their technology careers. Just real quickly then, what would you say to someone as advice if they feel alienated in this tech industry? Yeah, um, well, of course, <laughs> shameless plug, join Women Who Code. Okay. Um, we have over 300,000 members or an organization like Women Who Code. So you can create that sense of belonging. You can be reminded of the thousands and thousands of talented, not only women in the industry, but leaders in the industry, innovators in the industry. And you can create that sense of um, you belong here in those moments when things are hard or you're facing something that um, doesn't feel right. And someone can say, oh, you know, that's, that's not you. This is how I dealt with it. Mm. Great power numbers. Elena, first of all, thanks so much. Co-founder and CEO of Women Who Code. Thanks again for being here on this International Women's Day. Thank you.